What's good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Solid steppers, one step at a time. Hope everything's going well in your world. My world is absolutely phenomenal. It's what you make it. So I'm out here getting it done. My process is getting more streamlined. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, I'm headed out to Encompass Parts Distribution here in Davie. It, they hold a lot of appliance parts, well, parts for many things, like uh, some type of electronic conglomerate parts distribution. I swear they're affiliated with Samsung. They are a premier distributor. So anytime I'm working on a Samsung product, really any product, uh, between them and Marcone, I pretty much get everything I need. If one don't have it, the other one does. So it's always a win-win. So I have a great relationship with the guys in the back. Excuse me, I'm trying to straighten this up. And that's one thing I want to talk about is, you know, when you go in somewhere and someone is waiting on you, I hear a lot of people complaining about, oh, it takes too long to pick up my parts there. I hate this, I hate that. Well, have you developed a relationship with the people who work there? You know, whenever they see me, they be like, oh, got to get it, got to get it. You know, and it's always pleasant. If they have a delay, I say, yo, man, I, I feel you. I got the same problems. You know, but at the end of the day, you got to humanize your contact. Because one thing that people do not have is something called emotional IQ. They don't make any emotional deposits in any relationship, but they want everything out of it. You need to go find a book on it, Emotional IQ. It helps you in business. It helps you balance yourself. Like uh, today, I got to do some appliantology webinars, some other uh, seminars I missed. So I'll be doing my virtual office on the road, trying to catch up because knowledge is power. I'm learning so much. Every issue I run into, I learn more than I knew before, you know what I mean? And that's the key to the game. One thing about this particular industry, you are definitely going to be learning. So anyway, y'all look, see this right here? This is called rose water, or cocoa water, excuse me. Yeah, so natural, 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 natural. I don't put no, I try not to put any chemicals, but you know how that goes. In America, you can forget that. That's a wrap. It's so hot here. You got to stay moisturized in all places. Your hair, your skin, your nails, everywhere. Not to mention your body. And another thing is that, you know, I only drink alkaline water. I don't drink anything else. Anybody that knows me knows that I've been drinking alkaline water for the last five years or so. This is the, one of the ones I drink. So let me start moving before these guys start blowing horns. Then I got to, you know, catch a charge. But anyway, you know, you should always be into self-development. You know, right now my workouts are really uh, kind of geared around uh, Tim Ferriss's four-hour work, four-hour body. And he deals a lot with the, this workout called the kettlebell workout. It's an all-body workout. You can do it for probably about 15 minutes a day get a lot of core work in you know you can switch it up to what you want um, great great workout you know you got to find what works for you you know you got to make time you know the only area I might be challenging in is my personal relationships but you know all I do is have a flashback you know what I mean and then I'm good I'm not saying it's not somebody out there because it always is somebody for somebody but right now I don't have no time you know and I always try to tell people up front you know, my commitment is to my business, so, you know, that's my generational wealth, that's my retirement. Yeah, I got some stuff stacked, but at the end of the day, you know, especially with what's going on in America, if you got a job, you need to get your side hustle popping for real. Because these companies are really showing their behinds, man. They're using COVID as an excuse. I'm not even going to get in that. I'm just going to tell you. You better look out for yourself. You better move out, get your little homestead where you can plant some uh, some food and stuff like that. Like I was looking in my backyard and you know, my mom planted some stuff and now I gotta go and weed all that stuff out because she done planted it and now I'm looking at weeds and gray, everything growing up in there. But you know, my mom's older, you know, and I need to go and help where I can. I mean, I'm not around a lot, but um, you know. I grew up in that age where, you know, we, we tell you we love you by how much we pay your bills and take care of you. Those of y'all who grew up like that, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. You 
know? It ain't that I ain't love you. I don't love you. I'm out here trying to get it so you don't have to worry about nothing, you know? Some people have a caretaker mentality, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to get out here and grind. So if something come up, we ain't worrying about nothing, you know? And I got, I became this way because I watched my mom go through a lot of domestic violence situations. I watched my aunts, my sisters and stuff, and I'm not having it. Any woman attached to me, you're not struggling. And I'm not going to let nobody put their hands on you. Not if I know about it, because then it's a problem. Now, if your ass dumb enough to go in there and keep living that life, that's a different situation. If some people, they just got a pathological thing. That's their thing. They don't understand the dysfunction begets dysfunction. And they're not doing what they need to do to change it. But let me tell you something. If you related to me and your last name Ward and somebody putting their hands on you, holler at me. I got people for that. You feel me? I'm all about people becoming better. You know, it ain't where you come from. It's where you're going. A lot of times people don't understand that. You know, I'm driven. Like, people like, she is a beast. I'm not a beast. I remember, I remember a lot of things from my childhood that shaped who I am today. I used to hold a lot of resentment because I felt like my mama could have did better, my daddy could have did better, but then when you realize that they was raised in dysfunction too, it's, that's, that's an ongoing, you know, that ish is an ongoing cycle and you need that cycle to start with you. You need to be the one that's the beacon in your family that let them understand about entrepreneurship and not from your words, from your actions. You need to go out here and get a business. You need to become socially responsible, responsible in your business. You need to in teaching economic empowerment by what you do. And you need to be a professional in your business. You need to make sure you take care of your customers, even the complaints. Like I got one I got to deal with this morning. I don't even want to see her. Do you hear me? But at the end of the day, I had to get my feelings out of the way and I had to listen to what she was saying because she's so aggravating. I'm thinking that this is BS. But then when I listened and I listened to, you know, I really reflected on it because I just wanted her to go away. I, here go your money. Don't call me no more. But at the end of the day, there's always an opportunity to grow. And I'm not saying every customer needs a second chance. But there's some people you got to read from the beginning. If you know it's going to be a problem, and I've said this in other videos, don't even do it. All money's not good money. You know? But I'm going to resolve this issue because it's going to make me a better business owner. It's going to make me a much better appliance technician. Because when I one thing I like about this appliance repair, um, I like the fact that you are challenged. And because people live differently and do different things to their appliances, you really don't know what you're going to walk into. And that's the advantage of this, is that it keeps you fresh if you stay engaged. Now, it's a lot of people that get the business and turn it into a job instead of an experience. And you need to make sure whatever endeavor you step in that you are growing. If you ain't growing, then you just might as well go clock in somewhere because you pigeonholed and you're going to not grow and then you're going to be resentful and stressed out and frustrated because you can't really spread your wings. So understand what you're doing. And every time you hit a rough spot, you need to understand where it comes from. And then you need to address that. That doesn't mean you got to be perfect, but you better know you. Because if you don't know you, you're going to have a problem. Like a big problem. So anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox. So remember, it's all about growth and development growth and development like right now i'm streamlining parts pick up courier delivery all those things because i have a full day and when you have a full day time is of essence you can't get that time back you know what i mean you can't get that time back oh boy i hate indecision i'm having an indeciding moment indecision uh, I, I'm in the middle of making a decision while I'm doing this video and I'm really irritated because you know I gotta make choices sometimes I don't want to make but I force myself to do it because I know in the long run it's gonna be beneficial even though right now it's working my last nerve but that's what I mean about adaptability there are a lot of things that ruffle my feathers you know and um, I would rather them not be ruffled I'd rather just handle my business and move on. But um, at the end of the day, if you're going to grow, you better tighten up your game.
slow y'all ass down. Man, I swear I hate this exit right here. This is the International Airport exit, and I swear this, I don't know who does the civil engineering, but y'all need to work this out. I might need to write a letter. Maybe I need to show them Seattle's layout because I love Seattle's civil engineering. Phenomenal. I love them. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Y'all know how I am. It happens. So, solid steppers. Know that I love you guys. Thank you for following. I hope you got something out of my, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Incohesive video. But that's who I am. I am authentically myself. I jump around, things happen. And you know, we survive it. So, have a great day. And remember, go get it, stay focused, process, preparation. Discipline yourself first, and everything else will come. You can't point fingers at nobody. You can't do anything if people look at your life and be like, well, damn. You telling me? Look at your own life. They don't do that with Miss Ward. I have priorities, and I can't help if some people ain't part of that. Deuces, remember, love yourself through your actions, not through your words. Be blessed. Have an outstanding day, guys.